So for the last couple of weeks, we've been digging through the junkyard, doing muffler videos with burnouts in the black car, and trying to dial our white car in because the race season's upon us. And we got to get this thing right. So we ended up whooping our slicks out pretty good. I mean, they still got plenty of traction on them for the most part. Now, we bought these in mid 2022. And it's time, I, th I think I kind of beat the sidewalls out of them. We got to get them switched out. So we're headed over to Dave's at the machine shop. He's got a couple of Hoosier CO7s. I guess those are pretty good tires. Come out here and see what Dave's doing. He got himself a new diesel truck. I think it's fire, man. Really nice truck. Pretty nice when they don't got pollen all over our trucks. He's probably ticking. I hear it. Yep. So coming into the weekend, Hoosier CO7s. Now Dave bought these last year for his stick shift car that, as you can see, I mean, my Mickeys aren't terrible. They still got, but I think the sidewalls are. We're trying to give these 28, 10 and a half a, a chance. And I guess those are pretty good no prep. And we're gonna do a lot of that this year. So let's try them out. You know what I mean? Appreciate you Dave for having them on the spot. <laughs> he just had them on the shelf. <laughs> so since the install of the Holley Terminator X, I'm pretty impressed with what this white car's done already. With the ability to control boost and dad lock pretty much everything, it's giving me the knowledge to make this car go a little bit faster than it did last year. So I'm pretty excited to get out here and shake it down, see what it'll do on a lower setting and break in some of these new tires that we got. So one thing I did wanna mention is last week we went to Quaker for our first test and tune of the year. As I mentioned just a second ago with the Holly, I got a chance to data log it and I found a major issue in our voltage. Seems we blew our alternator up. That alternator has been through many passes and many miles on the street. The main objective at Quaker was to test the two-step. It didn't end up working out for us, but I'm gonna talk about that towards the end of the video. Okay, we are at the first test and tune of the year here at Kunle Motorsports Park, which we didn't even really think we were gonna be able to test here at all this year being this is our home track well it's 30 minutes from us so but it's pretty windy got a little tailwind want to get the car out we got some hoosier slicks to change tonight to be uh breaking them down kind of go through a nut bolt check real quick it's just a random tuesday i figured i'd make a little bit of video on it Ten and a half. It's a stiff wall Hoosier slick. Did you see him? <laughs> this will be our first hit on the new Hoosier CO7s. Got to get them broken pretty good and get them ready for racing. The draggy was a tad off. Here's the ticket to show you the times. Not bad for the first lick on the new tires. Just gotta get them wore in pretty good and get them ready for no prep. So the last couple of weeks, we've been dialing it in here on the white car, trying to figure out two-step situation, breaking in a new set of tires, and just adjusting the tune to the boost control that we've had. It's been a struggle, but I think we're getting close. This was one of my other passes. As you can see, the wheel speed wasn't a very good time, but I think we got it set now.
The last couple weeks, we've been trying to dial in our two-step. We tried to use the original factory clutch pedal switch, but that didn't end up working out for us. So we got some ideas for a bracket down by the fork with this new switch that we just bought. I think with the adjustment that we're about to make, it's going to make a huge difference for our program. That's pretty much the update for the last couple of weeks for us on racing and testing. Let's head back to the lanes where we met up with our buddy Tim Combs, the sheriff, with his 460 naturally aspirated coupe and Hoodman Racing with the old Rust Bucket Racer. A 460, brother. Look at that. Nancy aspirated 460. You've been, what's the fastest you've been with this boat? 25 at 134. This thing's been going on like what, 10 years? Been around for a while. Yeah, it's been around 12 years or so, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some time. It's got some, got some times time in it. it. <laughs> That's awesome. Good run, Tim. Thank you. Home built turbo blow through carb spare parts they had in the uh, spare parts bin. Bro, you were freaking moving out there. What happened on that on that wheelie? Uh, power died when I stepped back down. Oh, okay. Rust bucket racer. Home built turbo blow through carb. Spare parts they had in the uh, spare parts bin. Papa Hutman. That's a bad little bitch right here. <laughs> and where'd you find this car? You paid. How much for it? 300 bucks on a case of beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, that's pretty much all I got for the video. Just a quick update with the white car and race program we got for 2024. Got a lot of adjustments to make, but I think we're on the right path. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. Check out that join button below. Become a member of the channel. Outside of that, I just appreciate you watching. I will see you soon in the next one.